Welcome to the Bitcoin Globe, day 1236, where we are counting the days down until the next Bitcoin halving. Here's me card, Lee Southern Bitcoin Consultant. Go ahead and scan that and send me some Bitcoin for bringing you this content. I'm doing okay. I got some serious allergies that have been kicking my ass, but uh, I'm on the road to being whole again. I actually have a lot of... I'm, I have a lot to talk about, but I'm just going to keep it short today because I want to go in and rest. So, uh, I made a prediction a while back about Champ Coin, and I was just trying to protect some of my Indian friends over in India because Champ Coin was a coin that came out in India, and, and I was quick to warn, be careful, it sounds like a scam to me. And of course, they've been hacked, and it looks like it was a scam. But they, the Champ coin has evolved into a new coin, and you know the scam continues. So be careful with anything attached to Champ coin. It's definitely a scam, pretty much at this point. It's almost 100% a scam at this point. But I don't think any of my viewers are uh, into Champ coin. But if you are, be careful. Uh, I was curious about why the Winklevoss twins haven't. Uh, come out speaking for or against SegWit or Bitcoin Unlimited. They're not, for them, I think they own the most Bitcoins out of anyone, the, the Winklevoss twins. If you don't know who they are, they are the ones who uh, have opened the Gemini Exchange. And it turns out to be a really great exchange here in the U.S. It's like, a, it's not just an exchange. I think it's like a trading platform. And it has all the 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 trading tools you need to, to succeed but uh, yeah, I'm just curious with them owning so much Bitcoin. You don't see them concerned about Bitcoin Unlimited or SegWit. They're, they seem to be just like uh, going along. And they have utter confidence in Bitcoin and in the community, it seems. I would definitely like to know their opinion because they own the most Bitcoins. you think they would want to have something. They would have some opinion on the matter. And maybe they do. Maybe I just haven't noticed. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about Dash versus Monero. And honestly, I don't like all coins. I recognize that they have unique features. And what I what I don't like about it is explaining it to somebody else. Like if I were to explain, like say I'm Uber driving somebody, somebody around and I was explaining Dash to him, how would I explain that? Oh, it's, bit, it's like Bitcoin except more, uh, it's faster and more anonymous. I don't want to do that. Like, if I want to talk about something new, I want to talk about Bitcoin. I don't want to be like, what is this Dash? And what is this Monero? It's, 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 I can't sell that as easily. I don't know. If I'm going to sell something, I want to sell Bitcoin because I believe that has the most potential. I don't want to sell somebody something that doesn't have as much potential as Bitcoin. I don't think huge investors are going to be interested in Dash and Monero. There may be some, some small time money movements into these cryptocurrencies, but I don't know if they're going to be around for the long term. I think they're just short term uh, cryptocurrencies, but I I could be wrong, of course, and uh, I don't know. Would I like some Dash? Yes. And would I like some Merrill? Yes. I would love to have some, but as soon as it went up, I'm just going to trade it for Bitcoin. At some point in time, I will trade it, probably trade it for for Bitcoin. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hold on to it as a store of value. I don't, I don't see Monero and Dash as a store of value. Maybe a quicker way to transact and it may be more anonymous but that may or may not be a good or bad thing so i don't know also when you type in dash into google what do you get you get like wikipedia talking about dash they get you have to scroll down a little bit before you even learn about what dash is or find the dash website so their search engine optimization is not that great monero at least uh when you type in monero it's going to explain to you what it is if you type in bitcoin you're sure as hell going to learn what bitcoin is but you type in Dash, you're not going to quite get there right away. So that's probably something they need to work on. I don't even know if they can uh, improve it any more than it is. Uh, so I don't think it's a very good name for them. I do like the Dash Cash thing. But if you can't be number one in the search engine optimization, then what's the point of picking that name? Yeah, that's it for this video. I will have more to say about Dash and Monero, but I would prefer to talk about Bitcoin, of course, because Bitcoin is it has the most potential, in my opinion. It's, of course, my opinion. I'm not a wealthy individual, but uh, from my perspective, Bitcoin is going to be the winner. 
And if Bitcoin goes up to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, people are going to quickly move from these altcoins into Bitcoin, in my opinion. They're going to see the huge uptick as big money moves into Bitcoin. And they're going to they're gonna be like, yeah, I need to get on board the rocket ship. Just quit, quit screwing around with this little stuff here. I'm not saying you can't make money on these little things. This is just, once again, this is just my prediction. And yes, if you are playing around with these altcoins, be careful. We don't know much about them, really. Be careful. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, guys and gals, I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope that the rocket ship takes off sooner than later. Or it, And when it does take off, I hope you're ready. And I hope you're prepared. And I hope you have enough Bitcoin to see the moon.